Okay, let's make some chocolate covered honeycomb. Oh yeah. And I'm um, just recovering from a flu right now, getting off the tail end of a flu, and my voice is kind of going into the berry white zone. And we're just going to make the most of it here while we go through my process of making some chocolate covered honeycomb. And we start off with a bit of comb honey shown in those previous clips. And then we uh, cut up the comb honey in, uh, on, a, um, on a sanitized uh, cutting board. Everything's nice and clean. And then I let it drain in one of these little things that I usually use for letting my fresh bread cool off, whatever those things are. And I think it's important that as much of that liquid honey drips out of the comb as much as possible. But uh, I don't know, this is my first time doing this and I'm, I'm just making up as I go along sort of here. And, uh, and there's just a nice little piece of uh, comb honey or honeycomb. And this is comb that was cut right out of the frame, out of a foundationless frame. I think I cut that out around uh, sometime in August. I can't remember now. So you boil some water and you put some chocolate into a, a steel bowl, whatever you got there. And basically it's a double boiler. And you just slowly turn that heat down and, and it just slowly melts that chocolate. And this is um, milk chocolate, but this works much, much better with dark chocolate, 70% um, uh, cocoa dark chocolate. And I got these, this chocolate from, I just bought these big 500 milligram bars um, at my local grocery store. Uh, it's called Dominion actually, if you wanna know the name of the store. And you can see in that, uh, those two bowls, I've got dark chocolate and milk chocolate. And I'm gonna dip it into the dark chocolate, here we go. Oh yeah, cover it all up and just, and so once the dark chocolate and all this liquid chocolate, it, it had to uh, cool off a little bit because my main concern was that the, um, the hot chocolate would actually melt the, um, the wax on the, the honeycomb, but it, it cooled off enough, but not, not too cold. It's still, you know, obviously you can still, uh, dip stuff into it and not worry about it. So here we go. And, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, this is basically all there was to it. I just cut up the, the comb honey, um, melted the chocolate in a double boiler, and dipped it using a fork, and I dropped it onto this parchment paper, onto a, a baking or cooking dish or a cookie, cookie uh, whatever. And this is a big hunk of uh, comb honey. This is a really thick piece, and I covered it with uh, milk chocolate, and you're gonna see me eating it later on in the video. And it's a little bit too much. Um, the the milk chocolate and the sweetness of the um, honey is just too, it's almost too, it's just too much. It's, it's too rich. And then I just drizzled a lot of the, um, the uh, white chocolate, or the, I mean the uh, milk chocolate over the, uh, all over the other stuff. And there we go, looking good. So I would go, I mean, I guess it's okay to have the milk chocolate, but if I do this again, I'll just do it with, uh, and then I put it in the fridge and I let it cool off just like this for, I, I, I probably didn't wait as long as I should have. I, I probably only let it cool off for like 10 minutes. I was really quick and dirty with all of this stuff. And, but you can see it's, it's very simple. And, and there's another thing you can do too is, okay, hold on. Boom. Yeah. Let's eat that. And that's one of the bigger pieces. And you can see it's uh, now here's a really nice piece. Look, a little tiny piece of uh, comb honey with uh, chocolate, dark chocolate. I take a bite into it and you can see the little honeycombs inside the chocolate and, it, and something like that, but like that size is like, I think that's the perfect size for this sort of thing. Uh, it worked really well. You can take one little bite or you can pop the whole thing in your mouth and it's delicious. Um, just really, you can taste the, um, the honey, but you can also taste the wax. And I think if you put a little bit of um, uh, something else on, 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 like something crunchy on the, um, on this chocolate, like, a some kind of a nut, a pecan or a pecan, if you say it in the United States, whatever. Anyway, that's a god. There you go. And that's it. Um, this was just my first attempt at doing this. And I got this idea from an article that, uh, I read in, um, the American Bee Journal. And I'll, I'll link to that, I guess, in, in the details of this video. And, uh, you can also add wax and, and, um, to the, to the, uh, or yeah, I guess you can add wax to the, uh, 
this is very not this is not a very good how-to video at all but this just shows you this was just fun I did it for fun and it was fun but you can add wax or some other material I think to the wax to the chocolate to harden it so it doesn't melt in your your fingers and get all gooey and things but uh, I didn't care it, it, I just bought two chocolate bars melted them down and did this and it worked and it was delicious uh, I would definitely do it with um, with just dark chocolate and this was the overpowering gigantic piece which is way too much but that piece is really nice oh boy look at that <clears throat> and this is the best spot so anyhow um yeah so that's it um it was a lot of fun it was really delicious just took some foundationless comb cut it up dipped it in chocolate i did nothing else to it nothing fancy easy to do quick and dirty lots of fun um beekeeping is great and uh, here are the details of the article that I stole this idea from. And um, you can find out more about that in the details. And uh, that's it. Hope you uh, have some fun time in the kitchen with your honeycomb.